Today we're going to do a video concentrating on blocking, okay? So I have a partner here with me who's going to help me do the block. I'll be performing the block. He's going to be trying to strike and the key coaching points that I'll, I'll go through are, right? Most importantly, the hurl always stays up, right? So you have an, what, what we used to call an active hurl, okay? So a lot of people make the mistake and uh, people will shout, you know, like, oh, hard luck, hard luck, hard luck. Where you see it, even at inter-county level, you see this a lot, where a lad will go in to get a block, but their hurl finishes up on the grass here, and their head is down like that, and they're looking down here while the slitter is being struck over their head, right? So your hurl stays up, your head stays up, and your eyes must stay up at the slitter, right? So, for example, if Jared was going to hit it, don't hit it. If Jared was going to hit it, and someone runs in like this, Oh, and everyone shouts, oh, hard luck, hard luck, hard luck. It's not hard luck, it's just terrible technique, okay? So, a, a really good example of like the hurl up block, uh, I always think is the, the replay of the 2014 final at the start of that, you know, like Kilkenny, some of the Kilkenny lads were masters at this, like a Colin Fenley, Connor Fogarty, Paul Murphy, Jackie Tyrrell, and, and from Waterford as well, actually, Noel Connors was brilliant. The one where his hurl would stay up, the ball would be struck, and he still gets the block. They're the ones that kill you as the striker, but nothing better as the defender there. So we'll do a couple where, again, right, I'll be leaning in as Jared is going to strike the ball, strike the slitter, and I'm in, and it's the full length of the hurl is what you're looking for as well when you're coaching the, the children as well, especially, right? You don't want a half grip, and they come in, and their eyes are closed, and they're turned to the side, and then they get clipped across the fingers, and that's the end of it, right? It's a full length grip. The boss is trying to meet the boss, or the boss is trying to meet the slitter, either with one hand or two, it doesn't matter, but if you're two-handed, kind of like a golf grip nearly overlapping, okay, you don't want one hand up here, that they're separated like that, that's, you know, you basically keep it down there, head is up, you're leaning in nearly like, you know, nearly like kind of genuflecting a bit, you're leaning in and bang, there you go, okay, so the hurl is up, head is up, and uh, your eyes are up, feet apart, stepping in, bang, block, okay, so Jared is going to strike a few, and uh, I'm going to try to get a couple of blocks, right? So, I also always have a block and hurl. This is not my good hurl. When I'm in training, and I know we're going to do blocking, I get my hurl specifically for blocking. I do not want to break my good hurls in training. Also, when should you start practicing blocking? As soon as you're striking from the hand, right? This is their shield. You need to teach them how to use it, okay? No point in sending somebody out onto a hurling field that can't protect themselves too dangerous right and then they'll never come back as soon as we start practicing strike from the hand get in and get them used to blocking the contact that's what they need to do so Jared is going to strike it so strike it this way Jared's going to strike and I get up right so again Jared has it he goes to strike see my hurl is up my eyes are up Jared gets it and I'm blocking all right so again eyes are up head is up and we block so for this exercise, I'm going to hand pass it to Jared because not all the time will you be right up beside your partner, right, or up against your opponent. Sometimes you actually have to make that run in from maybe five, six yards back. So I'm going to hand pass it to Jared. He's going to catch, try and strike. And again, I'm looking to keep my hurl up, my head up, so I should never be like this at any stage, right? My hurl, ha I have to be able to see the slitter, have to be able to see his boss, and then hopefully my hurl meets the, meets the slitter, okay? So... I'm going to hand pass to Jared. he'll catch, I have to run in, try to close him down and get the block in. Again, keep my hurl up, hurl up, hurl up, head up, eyes up. I need to be able to see, I need to be able to see. This is what's protecting me, this is also protecting me. Drop ah, my hurl! Our die. And just on that one as well, right? The further away you are, the bigger you should be, and then the closer you get, the smaller you become, right? Because you're trying to cut out, make yourself as big as possible, because maybe if he gets the strike away, I'll still get the block, okay? And then when you get in closer, you're closing down the space. One of them hit me in the arm. Good, I blocked him. Another one, I dropped my horn and I missed it totally. So again, one or two more, I'll go from further back, See, can I get in and block them, right? Bit of a challenge. This is the thing. You step it up and step it up and step it up. Whoa! 
Nice win. Yo. So again, you'll miss some, you'll get some. But the most important part is that the feet, I lost my foot on one, my feet came together. The feet are spread apart, lunging in, head up, hurl up. Don't be afraid, this is the shield. Teach them how to use it, okay? Teach them how to use their shield. Hurl up, bang, 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 bang. Active hurl, block, and just finish up by getting out and hurl.